Officer Jenkins and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Marco and today we are going to do another Iro Dance choreography without the music. I'm going to break it down really easily for you. If it's your first time on this YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notification bell to have all the videos that you want on this YouTube channel. We have some dance tutorials with some music and we have some dance tutorials without the music in which I explain you how to achieve a choreography really easily. Today we are going to having, we are going having, we are going to have, sorry, my English is sometimes bad. We're going to have a symmetrical choreography, 16 counts on the left and 16 counts on the right. And I hope that you will stay until the end of the video to hear, see all the didactics, or all the stages of evolution of this choreography. If you have any questions, comments, just do it below. And let's start with our choreography. We're going to have some taps and there's just some marches in between. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. Now that I have this, instead of having just our tap, we're going to have a bow change and then just march a little bit. So let's go. So we have in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A jump, ta ta, two ta 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 ta. Great. Now that I have this, let's just add some movement on both sides, just having this uh, lateral movement to complete a little bit our choreography and to complete a little bit our counts. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this give us, this gives us an opportunity to go a little bit further. So now that I have this movement, I will going to use my momentum to just turn around having just one baby mambo on the floor. Watch carefully. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And march, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump, here, go around, hop like yesterday, have this movement here, you can add some arms, you can do whatever you want, but the movement is just having this and then just continue to march, okay? Really easy. In this case, when the choreography has these different movements, you don't need to always have a map, okay? A strict map before doing these turns. Sometimes you can just go with the movement and then if you want, you can map a little bit, but afterwards, not in these cases, okay? So this is just my po point of view. Sometimes I can do a direct method and sometimes I can do, just draw a little bit of my map of my choreography, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In march, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the same. Ta-ta. Okay, now you turn. Now you go back. You add just the baby mambo and then continue to march. Okay, so now adding this baby mambo brings you, like I said, you're here. So if you start just marching normally, it's going to be really easy for your clients to know that they need to orientate here and have this baby mambo, okay? Why? Because if you stay here and do this, that can be, it can be great, but it can be also confusing because I have now just this turn, oh, a baby mambo, okay? So, it's, it's just a point of view. In this, in this case, I just did it this way. I could have done it a little bit differently, but I prefer this, okay? Maybe it's more, uh, not enough professional. This one, if you do two stomps and baby mambo, it's going to be more professional. But sometimes, let's just, let's go with the groove, let's go with the movement, okay? Not always having this map, okay? So, let's just do it one more time on both sides. And then just let's go a little bit further. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the same. I just added two stomps on the floor. Hop, here, baby mambo. Two stomps on the floor. And now I'm done. Great, baby mambo, two stomps on the floor, really easy to do. Now let's go a little bit further. Instead of having this 
baby mambo, let's have a twist here. And instead of having two stomps, let's just have one step knee. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the same. Jump here, hop, add your twist, add your step knee here, and then you're casually done. You sure? I think you are. Let's just do it one more time for you and for me. And let's go a little bit further. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the same. And jump, go back, turn here, strong, twist. Okay, and then here, hop, and you're done. Now, instead of having a step knee, we're going to have a step chasse, and we're going to do, do it on both sides, okay? And then we just need to do, the next step is to just do some orientation, and then we are done. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Ta, ta, ta. Go here, be strong, come back, do your twist, be strong here, be strong here, step touch, and you're casually done. Yes for you? Maybe, maybe not? Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, the same. Ta, 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 go here, beam, Go here, go here, step touch, and we are done. Great, now that I have this, guys, the next part, the difficult part is what? We need to just orientate ourselves a little bit. So instead of having this step chassis here, we're going to have a step chassis, and then we're going to bring the action, <laughs> like said Vietnamese Spears, to the next wall. So we're going to here, okay? So watch carefully. Five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ta, ta, ta. Here, be strong. Have your twist here. Have your step chasse. Come back, step touch, and you're done. Okay, just this aerial, aerial Dynamics in your choreography, okay? You need to really have some space. You need to really conquer your stage, okay? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. You're here. You're going here. You're having this movement. Coming backwards. Doing your twist. Having your step chasse. The same thing applies to the other side. Just turn around. Have this movement here. Have your step twist. Coming back to your audience. Having this step chasse. Coming here. And you're done. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for staying until the end to see all the didactics. If you have any questions, comments, do it below. And I will be seeing you tomorrow for the next video. So take care until tomorrow. Bye-bye.